We're about to do an MET technique to improve hip rotation at 90 degrees. Now when we assess for hip rotation, we should do it at zero and at 90. Both positions have different functional outcomes for the person, different functional requirements, but we really need to do it in both positions. We're gonna work on the 90 degree one for the moment. So in this position here, we've got the hip at 90 degrees, knee at 90 degrees, and it's very easy to check on their available range of motion through this using this lower leg as the lever. And we can see here with Bo's hip, he's got an okay amount of external rotation. It's not great, but his internal rotation is almost non-existent. So we're gonna to try to improve that for him using an MET technique, actually a combined MET technique. So the two typical mechanisms of, uh, neurological mechanisms that we use with MET are post-isometric relaxation and reciprocal inhibition. We're gonna use both of those things today with this technique. So first of all, we need to take that hip into internal rotation and meet the first point of resistance. And with Bo here, he's only got about five to 10 degrees, not much at all. So we find that bind, that first point of resistance. And then I'm gonna cue him to externally rotate that hip by tapping on the inside of his ankle and say, I want you to push that foot across into external rotation. So pushing that into my hand there, and I'm resisting and stabilizing here with my other hand at the knee. He holds that for seven to 10. And at the end of that, he breathes out and relaxes. Then I want you to turn your hip even further into internal rotation, so pushing the other way now. So he actively tries to recruit that internal rotation, pushing the foot the other way. I assist that movement. That's the reciprocal inhibition component. So as those external rotators, so the internal rotators fire up, they reciprocally inhibit the other rotators on the other side and allow for more rotation into internal. We sit, we get into that position, we sit there for about 10 seconds or so, let it settle. I come back and then go cue this side. I want you to try to rotate the other way now. We hold that. This is the post-isometric relaxation phase of the MET. We do that for again, seven to 10 seconds, he relaxes. Now I want you to try to push yourself into more internal rotation, good. I'm assisting that now, there's a little bit of overpressure, and we stop and we wait there for another 10 seconds. He settles, find that position of comfort, and then again, cue one more time into external rotation. I'm resisting that. And then relax, and then internally rotate further, so pushing out on the outside of your foot. Good, and we're seeing a big change now. He's starting to get a reasonable amount of internal rotation. We could do better, but it's gonna be okay for now. So that's a good start. So that's using both MET uh, applications, combined, stacking them on top of each other to get a better change through that hip internal rotation movement.